and welcome back to my channel. I just realized I've been doing a lot of intros lately barefaced, so I hope I'm not scaring anyone when they're like, oh, after the like facing face makeup intro. Um, so welcome if you are new. My name's Bronte and thank you for coming back. If you're coming back, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like cheap makeup product videos. Today I'm going to be doing another everything under video. So today I'm doing an everything under 15 Australian dollars video. Um, just to be clear, obviously everything I buy is in Australian dollars and when I purchased all these products they were $15 and under and in America they're probably a lot cheaper. So so let's just get straight into the video. So today I'm going to start off doing my eyes first. I'm going to use the Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer. I don't have much left, but I really do like this primer. So today I'm going to be doing a smoky eye, which you would be able to tell from the title of the video. For concealer, I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the color Sand Sable. It's a little bit too dark, but we're going with it now. I've got fake tan on today, so you should be right. To set my eyes today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Matte Maker, and this is in the color Classic Ivory. So I'm going to be using a couple different individual eyeshadows because I find that you can get a couple individual eyeshadows cheaper than like a whole palette. First into the crease I'm going to use one of my favorites which is called Spice from Morphe and I'm going to be using this Lux Republic brush which I got in this set. I'll link that down below. I'll be using mostly those brushes today. In the outer corner and into the inner corner. Making sure to get that color on the in, both inner and outer corner, building it up. Sort of creating that halo effect. I do like the halo effect to look. Next I'm using this Coastal Sense color and it is called Barista. I'm going to put that more on the outer corner to start off with. And then just bring a remaining amount of the product onto the inner corner, but a bulk of it is on the outer corner. Then I'm going to go more directly into the crease, really trying to smoke it out using this Morphe Deep Cocoa Single Shadow, using this more like a bullet brush from Lux Republic. I want to intensify this look up a little bit more, I guess, than what it currently is looking. So I'm going to use the um, Shop Miss A A20 is in the color Dust, and it's a really dark purple color. I'm applying it with this brush, which is also from Shop Miss A. I'm going to put that on the middle of my eyelid. I'm actually going to just put it on the rest of my eye, to be honest. I'm going to apply these NYX pigments, and this is in the color pig and I'm applying that to the center of my eyelid. As you can see it's very pigmented. Just blending it out because you don't want it to be too plumped. Then I'm going to grab Deep Cocoa again from Morphe and I'm applying that again on the two other sides just so. Still dark on either side but it's more blended. Hence why I did my, I'm going to do my foundation after because the fallout is very next level. Next I'm going to add like a really small amount of black to the outer corner just because I want to define the outer corner I guess a little bit more. I'm not putting it on the inner corner because that's very risky. So I'm going to use the NYX Hot Black Primal Colors using the same Lux Republic brush again. Super pigmented black like ridiculous. Then I'm going to wipe away the excess glitter that I've dropped on my face. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Go Colossal Mascara. For lashes today, I'm going to use the EXO Beauty Lashes, which are around like five Australian dollars each. And these ones are the Prima Donna. I wore them very recently in a video too. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these off camera. Now, once I've got the lashes on, of course, I'm going to go in and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to use one of my favorite pointed brushes and to highlight today, I'm going to be using a Shop Miss A shadow called L3. 
five. It's very shimmery, kind of like rose gold-ish undertones. Then onto primer, I'm just going to use my Rimmel primer that I just used. Oh, oh, uh, the kind of, oh, oh, shit, that was way too much. Okay, right. I don't want to get too much waste of primer, that was. For foundation, there's really not many foundations that I personally like or even think work for under 15 Australian dollars. I don't know, that could be way cheaper in America. So I'm going to be using the NYX Stay Matte but not Flat Foundation. Just don't know of any other good ones that are under $10 or under $15. So please let me know in the comments below if there's any products that you really recommend for found cheap, affordable foundations. To add a little bit of glow to my foundation, I am going to put the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is just a mini, so I don't know if there's like bigger ones but I just have this mini one and it is in the color sunbeam oh I like how this applies this brush is good oh it's good I like this brush a lot just blending it in with this Lux Republic brush as well for concealer I'm going to use Maybelline and it's a fit me concealer in light beige because I prefer this under my eyes as opposed to sand but if you just have the one color then just use that always got to put it under my nose because I have such a red nose just using this brush to get under the eye area a little bit better and then blending the rest of it out with my damn beauty blender. I'm going to use the same um, Maybelline Matte Maker Powder under my eyes. And I'm using this brush. Going to do a quick brow. And I'm going to use an old favorite that I used to use ages ago. Before I, you know, got really into Anastasia Beverly Hills and that kind of thing. And it is the Essence Brow Eyebrow Styler Set. I always use the dark one. Such a good brow powder, I can't even deal. For under eye powder, I am going to use the Maybelline and it is the Shine Shine Free Loose Powder in Light. I got this one when it was on sale, so it was under $10 when I bought it. I don't actually know how much it is usually. Only just under the eyes. I don't want it to go here and make myself look a bit too cakey. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder, and it is in the color Darkest Brown, which, don't, to me, it's a very light color to be the darkest color. For bronzer today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzing Powder, and it is in the color 30 Bronze Soleil Amber. Going back in with this same brush that I used before, it's quite flat, so it'll probably be best for, especially around my cheek area. And then I'm going to contour using the Maybelline NY, and this is in 01 Blondes. Then after I've removed the excess, I'm just going to remove my baking under my eyes, nose, and forehead area. For blush today, I am going to use this NYX, and it is a baked blush, and it is called Foreplay. It's really nice, pretty pink color. Next, I'm going to highlight using this Shop Miss A brush. So I think I'm going to try the L5 that I used on my brow bone before from Shop Miss A. Yeah, this is better. A lot more golden. Then I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray that on my brush to apply a little bit more highlight. Then I'm going to apply some color to my lower lash line just to va va boom it up a little bit. I'm going to go in again with Deep Cocoa from Morphe and my Sigma Short Shader. Just patting that along the lash line. Connecting it to the outer corner too and only going about three quarters of the way across the eye For the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to highlight using L5 again I'm going to smoke my eyes up a little bit more in my waterline I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Drama 24 hour gel pencil only going about halfway across Okay, we are almost there guys. We are almost there 
Then I'm going to cover up my lash line and I'm using the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Eyeliner in black. Then I'm going to set my face using again the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Basically bathing in the stuff. So for lips today I totally forgot that I don't have any lip liner left. I've run out of like all my nude lip liners and my favorite is NYX and I don't have that one either. So I'm just gonna go rogue and use the NYX Sand Storm and it's the NYX Liquid Suede. If this is more than 15 Australian dollars then I also like NYX London or NYX Abu Dhabi Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I'm gonna fix my hair and I'll be back in a second. And here you have it. This is the finished look of the day. I thought I would do my hair, put this top on for you guys, even though you can't even see it. I don't even know why I bothered to do that. I hope you guys like this video, everything, all the products under 15 Australian dollars and even cheaper if you're in America and those kind of countries. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you would like me to keep doing these types of videos with a big thumbs up and in the comments below. All the products will be listed as always in the description box. And yeah, please let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. And hopefully I will get to see you all very, very soon. Bye guys. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I just realized I've been doing a lot of intro.